Hi guys and welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the duodenum. The duodenum is the first part of the small intestine. The small intestine is between the pylorus and the ileocecal valve. The function of the small intestine is to digest and absorb nutrients. The duodenum connects the stomach to the jejunum, which is the next part of the small intestine. Duodenum is C shaped and wraps around the head of the pancreas. It is divided into four parts the superior part, the descending part. The horizontal part and the ascending part. It has three bends or flexures. The first is the superior flexure. The second is the inferior flexure. And the third is the duodeno jejunal flexure. The duodenum is above the level of the umbilicus and is mostly retroperitoneal. Except for the superior part of the duodenum. And is mostly posterior to the transverse colon. The duodenum contains plicae, and these are circular folds of the mucosa. And they are designed to slow down the passage of food. Which allows for the mixing of bile and pancreatic secretions and for absorption. The purpose of these secretions is to neutralize the acidic chyme being delivered by the stomach.
Let's have a look at the superior part first. This part is at the level of lumbar vertebra 1. It is the site of attachment of the greater and lesser omenta. It is anterior to the head of the pancreas, the inferior vena cava, the portal vein, the gastroduodenal artery, and the bile duct. It is posterior to the gallbladder and the quadrate lobe of the liver. It is inferior to the neck of the gallbladder. and the lesser omentum. And superior to the head and neck of the pancreas. And the greater omentum. Let's move on to the descending part. Which is the second part of the duodenum. This commences at the superior flexure. And it lies at the level of the lower border of lumbar vertebra 3. It is lateral to the head of the pancreas and anterior to the hilum of the right kidney. The pancreatic duct and common bile duct Enter into the duodenum via the greater duodenal papilla. There may also be a lesser duodenal papilla, and this is above the greater duodenal papilla, and is for the accessory pancreatic duct.
Moving on to the horizontal part. Which is the third part of the duodenum. This commences at the inferior flexure. This is where the duodenum turns and extends to the left. It is anterior to the inferior vena cava, the abdominal aorta, and upper right psoas muscle. It is posterior to the superior mesenteric artery and vein. Finally, we have the last part of the duodenum, the ascending part, which is the fourth part of the duodenum. This is at the level of lumbar vertebra 2 and connects the duodenum with the jejunum at the duodeno jejunal flexure. It is anterior to the upper part of the left psoas muscle and is medial to the left kidney. Okay, let's have a look at those divisions. Here is the superior part of the duodenum. Here's the descending part of the duodenum. The horizontal part and the ascending part. Here is where the lesser omentum and the greater omentum are attached. This first flexure is the superior duodenal flexure. This next one is the inferior duodenal flexure. And this last one is the duodenal jejunal flexure. This first part is at the level of lumbar vertebra 1. The inferior duodenal flexure is at the level of the lower border of lumbar vertebra 3. And the duodenal jejunal juncture is at the level of lumbar vertebra 2. Okay, we've cut a little section out of the duodenum, so we can see the plique, 
the lesser duodenal papilla. And the greater duodenal papilla. Here we have the bile duct and the pancreatic duct. And this is the accessory pancreatic duct. Just below the greater duodenal papilla, there is an imaginary line where we divide the digestive system into foregut and midgut. So above this line is foregut, and below this line is midgut. And that about wraps it up for the duodenum. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about the human body. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.